You probably heard that adding Facebook Conversions API to ClickFunnels 2.0 will help you improve your tracking and therefore performance and cost of your ads. In this ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial, I will show you step by step how you can add Facebook Conversions API in ClickFunnels 2.0 and ensure that you benefit from the server-side tracking as well. Two things before we get started, like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. And second, if you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find the link to a free trial in the description of this video and you will also receive our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus if you use our link. And if you already have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account, in the description you will find a link to a nice deal that will help you massively save on your subscription. Now let's set everything up. The first thing that you need to do is to go to your Meta Business account. Then we need to go to the Events Manager. If you don't see the section here on the left, click All Tools, then find Events Manager. Assuming that you already have a regular Facebook pixel added to your ClickFunnels 2.0 account, you already have some data sets here. If you have not done it yet, you have not added a regular Facebook pixel to your ClickFunnels 2.0 account and you don't have any data sets here, you can watch a video on how to do it by clicking on the card up here. In this video, we are adding the conversions API to the existing data set. So I already have the Facebook pixel that I used for my ClickFunnels 2.0 account. For example, that's the regular Facebook pixel ID. But what we need to do to install the conversions API in ClickFunnels 2.0 is to go to the settings and then generate the access token for the conversions API. Scroll a bit until you see the conversions API section and click generate access token. Copy this code snippet by clicking on the icon and then we go to ClickFunnels 2.0. Go to your site, overview and then open the settings. As mentioned before, I already have a regular Facebook pixel added to this site. That's why you see the Facebook pixel ID here. To add the conversions API, we just need to paste the code snippet that we copied, the Facebook access token, in the field here. Then we go back to the events manager, go to the test events, open this dropdown and copy the test code. We also need to add it to the settings in ClickFunnels 2.0 in the field Facebook test event code. Alright, don't forget to save the changes by clicking update site here. By the way, this information, the Facebook pixel ID and also the conversions API that we add to the site settings in ClickFunnels 2.0 will also apply to the funnels and pages that you have in this workspace in ClickFunnels 2.0. Now we go back to the site overview Copy the link to your site, go to the Events Manager, open the second drop-down and paste the website URL here. And after that we need to open the website and perform some actions so that we see that test events are displayed properly. Now that's everything you need to do to add the Conversions API to your ClickFunnels 2.0 site and funnels. And the only thing that is left to do for us is to do some testing. For that we just go to the site. If you install the MetaPixel Helper extension, you will see that it detects the Facebook pixel, so the browser tracking that we have for this site and the page view event. I will click around on this site and then we go back to the events manager and see which events were tracked and if they were tracked via browser or server. Now we already see different events like page view, the click of the button, the lead event tracked here, but please keep in mind that it may take up to 30 minutes for the events to appear on this page. And in this column you see if the event was tracked via the Facebook pixel, so the browser tracking, or through the conversions API, which means the server-side tracking. If you want to see the details for the specific event, you just click on the name of this event and then you can see the additional information. That's it for today, thank you for watching till the end, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. I will see you in the future videos, bye bye.